right, let's talk about how to make a paper snowflake. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get a regular 8.5 by 11 piece of copy paper that you can find over there in the red filing cabinet near the window. And you're going to take the corner of the paper here, you're going to take the bottom and fold it up, line it up along the side. You want to line up exactly and make a crease. So you end up with a piece of paper that looks like this. All right. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this flap off. So what I will end up with is a square and you can do this with any rectangular piece of paper that you want to make into a square. You just take the bottom, fold it up to meet the side exactly, and you end up with a square. But I'm going to keep it folded as a triangle, and I'm going to fold it again. Here's the fold line. I'm going to fold it one more time. And you want to make sure that you line things up carefully. Make a nice sharp crease. So now I have a tri another triangle that's smaller. And here's the kind of tricky part. We're going to fold this into thirds. So I have to kind of um, approximate a third and a third. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to fold this over so that these two are about the same size. I'm kind of guessing that that might be right. If I do it right, then when I fold this one over, this edge will line up with this edge. So if I do it right, this will line up pretty good. Now if it ends up as too short or sticking out too far, I just adjust this fold, bring it over a little bit more or, or fold it farther over. But mine, I've been doing this a little bit so I can kind of guess pretty well. And I want to line this up nicely as well. So now I've got something that looks like a little arrow and I'm going to, okay, I'm good so far. And I'm going to flip it over and I use my scissors to cut off these little points here. So here I am cutting this off. So I end up with a triangle that looks like this. Now I'm going to cut a design in. You can see this paper that I handed you that has all these different ideas, or you can do whatever you want to do. These kind of are some cool designs, but you can make up your own. Basically, what you want to make sure that you do is you cut in from each side, but you don't want to cut all the way across because then your snowflake will fall apart. So you can cut the tip, you can cut on either side, or you can cut across the end. Or you can look at some of these designs and choose one. So here's one that looks pretty simple, number 18. So I think I'll turn it and I will see if I can do that one. All right, so I see here on one side it just has a triangle cut out. So I'm going to cut out, it doesn't have to be exact, I'm going to cut out this triangle shape. Okay, kind of, so you can see whatever is the dark part, that's the part you cut out on this one. And then it's got a little shape there that's another triangle. You can also, if you want to, you can take a pencil if it helps you and you can sketch this out. So you could say, okay, it's got this thing, and then it goes over here, and then it comes up like that. That is actually, for me, probably would even be easier. So you can do that, and then you just cut out those shapes. And I want to, I'm being sure that I don't cut all the way across my snowflake. And I might cut off the tip because I always like having a snowflake that has a little little cut out in the center. Okay, and now I'm going to open it up and see what I end up with. See how this looks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very simple snowflake. Take this off. Looks very cool. All right, so you can get really, really fancy with these snowflakes and make some amazing designs. You don't even, even some, you can just come up with your own ideas and it makes a great snowflake. So if you use a smaller piece of paper, 
like a piece of paper that is kind of half that size, then you could put it on the Christmas tree. Because I don't want huge snowflakes, so I would probably take little tiny snowflakes. So if you fold your paper in half, and then fold it in half like this, and cut this flap off, and then cut this in half. That's a really small snowflake, and that would be a good size for the, for the Christmas tree in our art room. So here's the same thing. I've made this little square. I fold it in half. It's a little trickier when it's tiny like this, but it also makes a cool snowflake. Fold it in half again. Here we are with the tricky part where we fold it into thirds. It's a bitsy. Looks like maybe I folded this too far over because this the second flap didn't make it all the way. So I just back it up. There we go. That's probably better. Oops, still it's kind of short. Back it up again. So this is good skills like for origami. We'll be doing that later on in the year. Okay, that's closer. Okay, so now I got my little tiny little snowflake. Flip it over, cut off the points. Now I'm just gonna do a whatever pattern on this snowflake. So I'll, I can cut into the end. Notice I'm not gonna cut all the way across. You can cut any kind of patterns that you want. You want to be careful when you're cutting because it's really easy just to like accidentally go whoop, all the way across. You know, I find the sharpest part of cutting with scissors is towards the handle rather than at the tip. I think a lot of students like to cut here because they think that's really accurate, but really the sharp part and where you have the most control is close to the handle. So I'm going to cut out a little chunk. Now I don't want to cut all the way across. I want to leave some places intact. I can cut a lot, but I've got to leave some places intact. Otherwise, I'll just have a bunch of, when I open it up, it'll just be a bunch of individual triangles. So see, I've got this kind of cut out. I can cut in here. I like coming in from the side. It's going to make you all dizzy. And where else can I cut? I can cut the end off. And I might cut a little chunk out of here. This is really getting tiny but it's going to look cool the more you cut out of it in my opinion the cooler it looks all right let's open this guy up see what it looks like you can even poke cut in the middle on the bigger ones it's hard to do when they're small let's see what he looks like i love opening up the snowflakes and seeing what you end up with all right come on open up Ooh, he's looking good. All right. So there's my little itty bitty snowflake. And I've got some string we can put on the snowflake and hang him on the Christmas tree after we um, put the string around it. Flatten him out a little bit. So have fun with snowflakes.